Hey, what's up, everybody? It's February 1st, 2021, up here in Big Bear, and uh, we're getting some rain right now. So I wanted to go out and just uh, do a, a little, like, it wasn't enough to warrant, like, a calm before the storm type thing, and it's it's just minor, minor. Like, it, it, it was something that there was a high chance that it wouldn't hit, but it's supposed to last just, like, an hour or two, maybe, and just, just, just very light on and off, so... This is what we got dealing with. This is what we're dealing with right now. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm right just gonna go the long way. The long way to where I needed to go. Today, mid 40s. This is kind of unfortunate. This rain because uh, rain's bad for snow. <laughs> I mean, it just kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We get this stuff like uh, we get rain on and off throughout the rains or throughout our wet season. If we were another thousand feet up, well, it would probably still be rain today, so. It's just too bad. I'm glad we don't get any like Chinook winds or anything like that that just uh, decimate the snow, but. Go um, here and pay some rent. <laughs> Yeah, now you guys can see what type of snow is left, how little snow. It's it's not that little bit of, I mean, there's a lot more snow than it looks like. That's all I'm trying to say. It's a lot more snow than, than it actually looks like. Because what you're seeing is a lot of the stuff that was on the roads that has been removed and taken elsewhere to the big dump areas and stuff like that. Believe it or not, that's what they do, people. I didn't realize that either, that they... Uh, they actually like get tons and tons of trucks and just have these these certain trucks that just pick up the snow and spray all the snow into these huge truck beds and then these you know probably 50 to 100 trucks at a time take all that snow somewhere it's it's just crazy it's, it's really crazy what they do but yeah anyway and I just say just 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 break out the flamethrower <laughs> while they're driving down the street. Um, nah, just kidding. But yeah, so forgive me about uh, making this a pretty short video. I will cruise around a little bit, but look, check out that snow summit right there. Yeah, man. I'm sure conditions are fine up there. You guys have, don't have much to, uh, to worry about. Every night they're making fresh snow, so. You have nothing to worry about. Just come up here, have a good time. And as I said, I will, uh, I'll do a little bit more on this video. I'll go through Moon Ridge and uh, hit Bear Mountain and then we'll go home. Peace. All right, so we're back. We're actually not gonna go through Moon Ridge. We're just gonna drive down Big Bear Boulevard. Cause that'd probably be more pointed of a drive because that's where you guys are mostly driving. But yeah. Uh, don't be concerned when you don't see that much snow here on the side of the roads because as I said they actually remove all this snow it's not like it, it, it like melted if they didn't remove it, it all the sidewalks would still be completely covered so just know that they really work hard at it and uh, yeah we still have a lot of snow up here you guys <sighs> I'm tired I don't get a lot of sleep these days but that's okay. That's winter time. But I wish it wasn't raining. It's just a light drizzle, and this is all it's supposed to be, just on and off for a couple hours and that's it. This is lagging. I should have probably turned this off like a minute ago. I'm sorry, guys. We 
guys are getting the real feeling of being here then. areas they'll have plenty of uh, plenty of snow so you can make snowmen and stuff like that as I said don't be a uh, as a matter of fact we'll take one of these side roads back home so you can see but this is the main Big Bear Boulevard give you a sense of what it's like to drive up here right now you're totally fine you'll have zero issues <laughs> unless you try to go to the post office then you'll be waiting forever and that's what I'm doing right now I'm very nervous so if it's a long line I'm gonna have to wait even more so that's unfortunate. I'm not going to be able to stay today to wait. But I'm just hoping I'm coming during an in-between hour, but we'll see. I'm never at an in-between hour. The story of my life. Like, it's not like our town got more people. You just have to stand six feet apart. And it takes them an hour now? Like, I don't get it. Like, I just don't get it. It's ever since this pandemic, you just have to stand six feet apart. You, there's not more people that moved into Big Bear permanently. Like, like not significantly to, like, quadruple the wait time. Like, people are just standing six feet apart. Does that have to take, like, six times longer? I'm not, look, look, yes, I am complaining. And the line was so long inside, so we're over it. But anyway, we're gonna take the back streets home so you guys can see uh, what the snow is really like in town, in the neighborhoods, and in the, the homes you'll be staying in, or, um, yeah. I don't want you guys to be disappointed or feel like you missed it, because you didn't, there's still plenty of snow. Plenty of places to sled. On that side of the village is a snow play park and then when you go down Big Bear Boulevard that way when you get to Motel 6 or Motel 7 whatever it is um, that's on the corner of Division Road and Big Bear Boulevard um, that's another snow play and then also I'm pretty sure that Snow Summit has um, some sledding and tubing also and out of both ski resorts that we have in Big Bear Snow Summit's the more family oriented one. Hang on a sec, guys. Sorry about that. I just didn't want to be like blatantly disrespectful. There was an officer right there, and I've heard that even though I'm I'm not on the phone, like uh, because there are technicalities, um, and you got to look for those. But I am like uh. Is this night? Yes, it's night. Uh, we're gonna go at night. Um, because I guess it's still kind of illegal to hold the phone. I don't know what exactly it is. I tried even looking it up, um, and it's it's like a gray area because I'm not communicating on the phone. I'm not texting. Um, there were very specific things, um, and regarding video, there was very specific things. Like uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but when I read it, it made sense to me that. You know what I'm doing right now um, like it's not bad but it, I don't know I just don't want to be a bad example look at how much snow guys I mean seriously look at this 
Look at this is just right off of Big Bear Boulevard, guys. I mean, these are the neighborhoods. Look at just so much snow. So don't think there's no snow up here. I know it looks pretty bad from from what I just took you guys on, but um, but yeah. So anyway, the reason why I cut out when I saw those police officers is because. I guess what I caught from what I learned is that this is somewhat of a gray area and I just didn't want to rub it in their face and stuff like um, because they, if it's a, a gray area they have every right to you know pull me over too so I don't want to be disrespectful that's why I just I just put it down because um, as I said it's it doesn't say it's illegal what I'm doing like uh, now if it was on speakerphone or something like it's really weird these technicalities but uh, I am gonna get it. I am gonna get it figured out. Um, I'm gonna ask a couple of these officers exactly what it is because I'm seriously. I I don't want to make their jobs any more difficult than it already is. All right. Yeah. So we're on Jeffries now, and that guy's texting while driving a plow. See, that's a little bit different than what I'm doing right now. Not much, I guess. <laughs> But look, guys, the roads are great. I mean, you guys should, you guys will be stoked about that. Just know, at nighttime, all this wet stuff is gonna freeze. So just, just be very, very, very careful once you get into the freezing temperatures. But during the daytime, this is great, you guys. You guys will be fine. You don't have much to worry about. I assure you. But it's a whole different ball game once it gets to the, once the temperatures freeze. I guarantee you that's a local right there but you guys will get blamed for that for driving like that guaranteed oh the tourists but you guys like you guys don't know these streets so you're not going to cut corners like that and drive in this type of weather like like that's why it, it's just like dude like look look just like if i was speeding in your neighborhood you'd want you'd be happy if i got a ticket like like i'm, I'm not happy when like someone gets a ticket but if if you're gonna like really put kids in jeopardy like that then like in a very selfish way then then of course you get what you deserve right just like if i did that i get what i deserve but uh yeah yeah that that guy that was a total local that was a local like 100 percent. he knew that road so well knew right where to cut so he didn't hit the ditch and stuff like he knew it perfectly but <laughs> but but you guys will get blamed for that. Watch, like, no, no, that's that's just how it happens. Um, but anyway, you guys are awesome. Without you guys, we we don't we don't live here. But we are having an issue, I guess, that I just talked to my rental agency, and they're really nice people over there at Blue Skies. Really nice people. They're saying there's a uh, they have no rentals, and they haven't had any rentals for months, and they're terrified about their jobs up here. Um, I don't know what's going on, but like uh, something no buenos going on uh, regarding our market up here. So, I mean, there's there's nothing available. So like, usually that's like a good thing. It brings the price up, but no, well, I don't know, guys. I just want the best for this town. I want the best for 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 the people that live here and contribute to the town not the people that live here and like just run their mouths like which is very few most of the people up here as i've said are amazing people and they have absolutely transformed just like you guys who i am as a person but um man i'm, I'm just telling you guys like every place has its good and it's bad every place has its good and it's bad and sometimes I, I tend to focus on the negative more than I do the positive. When the positive completely outweighs the negative, I don't know why I do that. I mean, I could get like like a thousand, you know, compliments. And then the one person who like says, 
Oh, you look like my balls. <laughs> I don't know. Or, or just, some, just like something crazy. Like, like you know, I'll like focus on that one remark for so long. Sorry, that was a really bad example. But, um, <laughs> you, but that's just what we do. And I, I really try to work on that. But I always focus on the one thing. The one thing. Anyways, guys, right here, this is Brownie, Brownie Lane that we're on. Um, and that is the snow, one of Snow Summit's parking lots. Oh, that was going skiing. Man, I wish I was going skiing. It would be so, so much fun. I'm so out of shape, though. Man, this place is full. Good. Look, see, this is untouched, and that's a lot of snow. There's still feet, a couple feet of snow. You guys will have a lot of fun. You will. Anyway, peace out. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, so peace out, you guys. Um, hope you have a great day. It's February 1st, 2021. Take care of yourself.